Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brantley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. Let's go ahead and ground. So let's see what we got going on here today. Spirit's telling me to use the wisdom of Oracle. Where's that deck at? Okay. We're going to go ahead and start off with the wisdom of Oracle. Okay. Deep knowing, first thing out. So there is like, and it's like, okay, the energy that I have is sitting on top of the world, top of the world, top of the world. So it's like um, very wise energy, very much so a deep knowing, a deep calling. Your intuition is on point right now. New life, okay? And purple is intuition. So you are discovering something new about yourself. And this that this self-discovery that you're encountering right now is going to lead you to nothing but abundance. Nothing but greatness. Something that's unexpected that will be happening to you that is good, okay? This is an unexpected surprise. <laughs> I was trying to say experience and surprise at the same time, y'all. So this is an unexpected experience that... Y'all hear the sirens? Confirmation right there. Okay, now. So it's like, and they beeping their horn like, move out the way. Move out the way. It's definitely like spirit is guiding some people directly towards you that will help you in this next level of your life. And the road that you're taking is maybe the road less traveled, but you have an emergency, emergency vehicle that's in front of you. And they're beeping their horn and they have their sirens on. So even though it's a road less traveled and, and it, it may be like still made with sticks and, and stones and rocks and, you know, and just like things from nature, it's not paved. It's not a smooth, steady road. It's still like spirit is guiding you and you're able to just uh, still go through that way. It may not be easy, but you're still able to go through your own path and learn things. Okay. All right. Now we have Treasure Island here. Treasure Island. So I do see like something that you have been wanting for quite a while. Quite a while. You see the turtle is very slow, right? Um, Something that you have been wanting for quite a while. And I'm getting something amazing. So whenever, whenever I see the sea turtle, I'm also seeing like whenever they go, just all two, two, two. Balance. So you know, like whenever you, it's amazing whenever the, the turtles are all hatching at the same time and you see like the whole beach covered with them and they're all running to the ocean and they come back and they, they hatch the same place every year. It's some shit like that. Very magical shit that is about to take, happen, take place in your life. Co-create. Somebody's going to want to work together with you. This is going to be somebody like, you use your discernment, but this is going to be somebody that helps you in the right way. It's not going to be any type of mischievous, mischievous shit going on. This is going to lead to a lot of happiness. This is going to lead, what is behind happy? Happy. Okay. This is going to, you know, take some hard work. This may have been somebody that may want to um, come back and make some shit up for in the past what they did. But I just really see that this is hard work. And it's like, you worked hard on something. You worked very hard on something and now it's time for you to celebrate. Now it's time for you to win. Now it's time for you to understand like your hard work is paying off. Understand like the reason why you had to go through this. You're being watched right now. Somebody has been observing your glow. Somebody has been observing the changes within you and you can feel that shift as well. And it's like this person sees you facing fears head on. They see, it, they see you doing things differently. They see you moving differently and it's very attractive. And whenever I say attractive, I don't think that I'm automatically talking about sexually attractive. Of course, you that bitch. Of course, you that you that person. You know, like you that masculine or that feminine energy that you, you are always going to be that boss type of energy. And you're always like scorpionic energy. We're going to have that strong. Um, people are going to be very attracted to your energy, okay? Uh, but at the same rate, what I'm saying is like you're very attractive on a soul level. That's what I'm saying. Balance. Balance is here. Balance is here. This is something that is coming towards your life. It's, it's something that you're gonna make a way for. So it's like you're gonna make you're gonna make time for this. Even if you have a very busy schedule, you're gonna want to make time for this. Because it's gonna be something that has been faded all along. 
And you've always felt something within yourself that had been very different from the deep knowing from the beginning. It's like from the beginning, you have always been very different. You have been always been um, um, very unique. And you realize that there has never been anybody that can compare to you. No place like home. There's something within your soul that is like always been an inkling from, from a child. That is like, okay, I'm not like everybody else. I'm very different. I'm, I'm, I'm very much so within myself. I want to, you know, just keep some things to myself. But it's like different signs that you look back on it that you've always saw. But it's like just a, a an awakening that is making you pay very much more close attention to it. Okay. Emperor here. So like you're, you're a person that likes to have things in a certain structure. You're a person that's very disciplined. You're very logical. You're very practical. And you're traditional in very many. Like people wouldn't even know. Like from looking at you, they may not think that you're as traditional as, as you are. But there's certain things that you like done in a certain order. And nothing's wrong with that. Nothing at all is wrong with that. Let's see what else we have. Putting the tarot on it. This is just like very much so like energy that you've always known something was different about you. And it's like your light is shining. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Four of Swords and the, and the High Priestess. And you've been manifesting something new. This could definitely be a financial opportunity. It doesn't have to be. It could be a pay raise. It could be a new job. It could be, um, it's something new though. It's, it's something new in your life that you have been manifesting for quite a while, um, but you haven't quite reached that. But it's, it's here. It's time for it's here. You've been doing a lot of work on yourself. You've been understanding like to follow your intuition. And you know, those big voices are not your intuition. That little voice after those big thoughts, that's your intuition, the inner voice, okay? Um, and it's like, you've been feeling some things. Within the subconscious, within the 5D, you've been experiencing some things. And I'm like, okay, I don't know why I have license plates. So you could just be driving in the car and the car um, in front of you is, is, is like a license plate of something that reminds you of something on, or on the car or a, bubble, a bumper sticker or something like that. But it's just like whenever you're out in public and even on pri in private, just having time by yourself, you're seeing constant signs and synchronicities. That's my point. You're seeing a lot of constant signs and synchronicity. We have the Queen of Wands here. You're very vibrant. You're very magnetic. You're very determined. Like once you put your foot towards something, you're going to accomplish that shit. It doesn't matter like the struggle that you have to go through. It's definitely like um, you're, you're, you're going to be getting some type of push because somebody sees that you're a very hardworking individual and they see like as you work hard, as you put your energy into something, it's always going to be successful. They see that you're not going to give up. They see that you like to work hard. You, they see that you are an individual that have always worked, right? You've always worked. You've always put your best foot forward. And you've always been a genuine person that wants to put that best energy out and wants to do what's right. Page of Wands. So, like, you've been very enthusiastic. You're, you're, you're very friendly. You're very passionate but behind whatever um, you want to do. And you're not afraid to take that risk. Even if something may not seem like, you know, it's going to go a certain... You're like, okay, I'm going to try it. What's going what's gonna to hurt? Okay, I failed before. It ain't My life's not going to be over. Um, and, like, I do see, like, what is this? It fell on the floor. It's three of wands in reverse. So, there's some type of long-term goals that you've been getting some type of obstacles, right? There's some type of delay. Um, and you may have been feeling overwhelmed. There's a lot of shit, like you, every, your everyday tasks, your everyday movements, your things that you do every day. It's a lot of, you're a boss. It's a, it's a, you're multifaceted. You're always doing some shit. There's a lot of shit that you put on yourself and there's a lot of shit that's required for you to be done. And then like you are a very anxious person. You're a thinker. You think a lot in your head. Um, but I do see you, you moving away and just getting a lot of fast movement and progress. So something that was delayed previously is picking up, whether this is your business, this is whether this is partnership, whether this is relationship, whether these some, are some goals that you wanted to reach that you have not quite obtained yet. Um, you're, you're on your way. You're on your way. Continue to be in your full energy to get, to continue to not give no fuck. Look, guess what came out? Death. Okay. That is your car, Scorpios. So there's an ending. There's a change. There's a transition. And that transition is leading you towards new beginnings. It's doing nothing but, you know, preparing you for this rebirth, for this liberation, for this new. You had to let go of some shit because everything can't come with you. Everything cannot come with you. And you are this earth angel. Temperance. You are this person that understands that you have to live towards your purpose. Anybody that was trying to have your, have just be in your life to kill, steal, and destroy, to cause some type of 
fuck stagnation with here with the devil to try to be dishonest with you. You're seeing that shit. You're seeing right through that shit. We have the two of cups here. And you know what? You're understanding that <laughs> you're letting that shit go. And you understand that you have a contract with the divine, with the most high. And what are you doing? Understanding that everything that you need is already within you. Your intuition will never lead you wrong. And you are such a powerful manifester. You can just think of some shit and it's going to happen. And you have to understand how to go ahead and maneuver, go ahead and um, it's, it's very, um, what is the word I'm looking for, y'all? Just the energy. Knowing how to change that energy, knowing how to manipulate. You, know how, you have to know how to manipulate that energy. It's like there's been a lot of manipulation tactics, tactics in the past where things that you have gone through, people may have manipulated you in situations, but you know, most importantly, being able to manipulate that energy in the way that you want it to be, like the way that you have been called to do so, the way that you've always known from the beginning that it was a deep knowing that there was something different about you and that there's a powerful manifest manifestation skills around, around you and in you, it's going to lead you far. It's going to lead you far. Just continue to follow your intuition. Steady. Study, follow, study the law of attraction. Study um, changing the energy around you. Ch ch study all of that. And it, it'll be very helpful for you, okay? It'll be very helpful for you because I see a lot of things that you've wanted. Six of Cups, even as a child, it, and very nostalgic memory, it's coming towards you. It's because you continue to show this unconditional love. You continue to follow in your spiritual guidance and you're traveling towards success, Okay. All right, all right, all right, Scorpios, don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. Well, just on 144, you are chosen. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.